Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, last time out, we actually made it to space, if I remember correctly, and then we managed to uh, do some experiments on the ground and grab some science and that kind of stuff. Between episodes, I've gone and grabbed a little bit more in the way of science, so you can see from the contracts down here, there isn't uh, that contract for research still going. We've just got the orbit curve in, the XL atmospheric testing, which I'm supposed to do in an uncrewed vehicle, that is why it didn't work. And we've got that weird turbojet that I cannot actually find. In this episode, I am going to look at creating a an actual aircraft, a proper working aircraft, not one just bodged together like I did last time. And this aircraft is going to be able to get a science, not only by going to those uh, areas where we need to do some science, but also by having a satellite on it and allowing us to scan the terrain and grab science that way. So make sure you stay tuned. There are some pretty cool things that I found. For example, that right there, that is what I have been after. This is going to help me design an aircraft provided I can remember what I'm doing and I can remember how to read one of these. So make sure you stay tuned. This could go well or as usual, in Kerbal, it could go really badly. So starting to get on with it, this is how far I got before I tried to make something and then stopped. So this is the nose I am after. Now why this nose, you're probably wondering. Well, the reason for this particular nose is because it is pretty good at high speeds. That's the point there is going to give us a pretty nice um, supersonic flight. That is the plan. However, if I cannot find something like that, I'll have to go subsonic, come up with a flatter nose and see what I can do. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick with this and see what we have. I've already got the landing gear on it. And now what I need to do is try and figure out where and how I'm going to fit uh, a payload and an engine. So we've got a container like this. I'm not sure how to put things in said container, but I'm going to I'm going to try. I'm just going to try something. I have no idea if this actually works. I doubt it, but it does work. So how do I? So how would I actually use this? So th this is what I'm I'm trying to figure out. Is if I had something like this, how would I? use it in particular um i'm not actually sure because if i could do that i could just have a container in here but i'm just going to throw that away for now let's go back to the payload and let's look for i was thinking this this junior cargo bay in fact i'm going to lift this up because i think the junior cargo bay does kind of work with this particular with this particular aircraft you can see there's a cargo door so you can get into the bay and I can always open that up and have whatever I want. So that is not a not a bad shout. We've got two junior cargo bays, or we could go for one large cargo bay, which might be oops, an even better idea. Toggle flag. We do not need the flag on that. That might be a better idea. Now, behind the cargo bay, we need to have a structural fuselage, so that one's no good. That is no good. Uh, a passenger, a passenger door is no good. We need something that is going to give us some rigidity here. And the reason we need that, and it might not be payload, then it might just be um, right. It's probably not payload. It's structural. That isn't it. Yes, it's something like that that we then require. This is a little bit heavy. Uh, how I need to keep a, an eye on the mass. Uh, one and a half tons, so we're not we're not doing terribly. Certainly not doing terribly. We do not want that. Um, structural fuselage. That's even better. There we go. Perfect. And then we need to stick in a nose cone. 
So, or we need to stick in a tail cone. So I am going to check this. Hey, look, what is that? I think that's... Okay, a little aerodynamic pylon, fine. Uh, let's type in tail and see what comes up. We have a few different types of tails. That's a terrible tail. That's a huge tail. I mean, there's no way. There is no way. That is too big as well. A short tail, there we go. Look, something like that. I just wish it was the right colour. In fact, that's, that is an even better tail. Okay, because that gives us the ability to rotate the nose. Now, the other option I have, instead of doing that, is to have a rocket on the back. So, we're looking for a... I'm going to type in jets and see what, what actually comes up. Uh, we've got an intake. Now, that is not what I'm after. I know what I want, but I need to figure out how this is going to work. Um, let's see. Let's see if we have an intake that I'm after. No, we do not. See, if we had a small intake, I could have had two small intakes feeding into the feeding into an engine at the back. But since we do not have that, we can always go um, on the well, like that. We can always try and do something, something like that. I can make sure that we have a gimbal on that. And I mean, it isn't, it is a jet, but it isn't a jet. So that is one option. The other option we have is, of course, with a jet engine, we look for an actual engine. Wait, what's that? No. Uh, not the Rattler, but something like that. Now, what does that say? Self-contained... Stop moving. Why are you moving? A self-contained solution for powering air-breathing engines. It includes some reserve fuel, making it a very practical option. Okay. So... But that isn't an engine. Is it? No, I do not think that is an engine. We have to we have to have an engine on this. Which essentially means you have to do that. Hey look. There you go. Wait. Both of them are the same. MRS jet engine. MRS. Okay. Do you have a fuel? You have a fuel tank as well. I mean, I'd rather not have it that way, but if we were to roughly fix it, I, I know it's not properly done, but something like that, I mean, it could work. It could certainly work. A basic jet engine. I could see that working. I could certainly see that's working. Uh, can I... No, that is not what I wanted to do. Can I rotate this around? Yes. That isn't ideal either. Okay, I... I'm tempted. I, I am tempted to try this. Right, so we have an engine. Let me... Let me find an attachment point for this engine somewhere. Just going to try and attach the engine. There we go, so I can see what it actually looks like. Uh, that way. And you... At the back. I... Yeah, I could... I could see this working as it should. I think we could we could work with that as it should. I'm not sure. I'm genuinely not too keen on the colour, but there is an engine. Okay, 
So from there, let's try. Right, we need a tail then. We certainly need a tail. Uh, no, that is incorrect immediately. Those are really long. Universal tail section, again, incredibly long. Here we go, look. This doesn't look horrible. Doesn't look horrible, doesn't. That is not bad. All I need is a small. I do mean a very small. That was coming at the back. Looks terrible. What is supposed to go on to that? NCS adapter. Let's find out. NCS, what do we have? Just the adapter. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I could fit something at the back. It doesn't have to be perfectly... It doesn't have to be perfect like that. So we have that. Uh, fighter tail gear. Well, I mean... Is there anything wrong with having a basic gear here just in case? Well, yes, the fact that that gear is far lower than the other gear. That's that's a big wrong. Next. Engine fairing. No, we do not need engine fairings. What I need is a wing. Let's see. Now, I know what kind of wing I want. A swept wing is what I'm after, like so. What I would then like is a, well, not that. These are all incredibly, incredibly big. That's the problem. So I would say that, no, that isn't what I'm after. SW, let's look for SW, SW. Let's see what they have. No. Stabilizer. No, now you see none of these are doing what I want. I could just go for a full on swept wing, I suppose. Look. There we go. It, it is possible. I'd rather have a more delta wing, but I can always go for for a swept wing. What on earth? I mean, that's just to just to put it in in context. I think that's a little big. That is probably looking a lot better. I'd like a I'd like a tail fin. I need a there we go a simple tail fin. This tail fin is the wrong way, I believe. Yep, it is. And the reason it's the wrong way is because... There we go. That looks reasonable. Okay, that's starting to look reasonable. Let's go ahead and try and stick these on. Now I know this I know that isn't where I want them to go, but I am going to readjust them momentarily. And to do that, I need them first of all rotated. No, that is incorrect. Just that. There we go. How do they rotate like that? I want them to rotate about... Okay, fine, it doesn't matter. There we go. And then I want... I want them to be moved... To be... Underslung... Like that. And I'll keep them fairly inboard. Uh, because if I had them outboard, that would probably cause us some... Some issues aerodynamically and more so with stability so I'll, I'll connect it up I'll connect them up something 
like that. There we go. Okay. Good. So that is what we currently have. Let's run an aerodynamic analysis on this. For takeoff, how are we looking? Okay. At five, so we've got our maximum of about six degrees is where our maximum lift to drag ratio is. Uh, it looks like it is happy at zero for pitching moments. So that's CM. CM is our pitching moments or coefficient of what the M coefficient of moment? No, that's not right. It's the pitching moments. So if that was uh, positive, which it is at negative, uh, at the negative degrees, what would happen is the nose of the aircraft would want to be pitching up, and if it is negative it wants to pitch down so essentially what this is saying is it wants to it wants to stay at this speed it wants to stay flat which is fine let's give it something like mark 0.8 and see what we get okay interesting very interesting we still have a good good coefficient of lift uh, over at about seven degrees now. Uh, sorry, good lift to drag ratio. Our maximum coefficient of lift is up at uh, 20, 24 degrees, after which it looks like the wing stalls. Drag is interesting. There's very little drag on this aircraft. If I was to raise the gear, that's probably a better idea because you will be flying with the gear raised. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. I'm not sure what this pitch setting is. I'm not sure at all. I'll go for flaps for, let's go for mark 0.2. Flaps for climb, what do we have? No, we're, we're looking okay. We are looking fairly okay here. And the entire time it does not look like the aircraft wants to tip forward in any which way, which I'm quite happy about. Right. Let's see what we have here. Okay, the area. So this is all this is all really really important information to me. To me this is very important information. Uh right. So point I'm going to have a look at point 8. What do we have? There we go. Uh, so our area of our wings is 14.4 meters squared. That's that's small. That's only slightly bigger than a real life Piper Cherokee. This is a small aircraft. Interesting. Scale sc cord scale wingspan. The span of this is only 3.31 meters. Cabins are small. Okay. Coefficient of lift and drag, 0 0.06. Coefficient of lift at Mach 0.8. This is, I'm assuming, yep, level flight. Coefficient of drag, 0 0.02. Angle of attack, 1 degree. And that's fine. We can easily get that. So that's the pitching moment telling us that it's, it's trimming at 1 degree. Speed is going to be 268.719 meters per second. Um, what is that in knots? I need that in knots. So that's going to be 500, 510 knots, something like that. 500 and, uh, let me check that. Let me just type it in on Google. Um, meters per second to knots, 268 point... Come on, 0.7, 521 knots. There we go. It's five, 521, 522 knots. That is what we have. Um, that's well below the speed of sound. That is well below the speed of sound, of course. So if we go for Mark 1, 
There we go. 335 meters per second. 336. Angle of attack, 0.5. That is not bad. That is actually not bad. I think... Hang on. That would probably require less. There we go. I think that's, that is pretty good. Now let's say we're coming to land and we're doing mark point three. We are going to need seven degrees of lift to hold us in place. However, if I were, if I were to put some flaps out... Well, I actually do not have any flaps on this, do I? That would help. I, I should probably put some controls on this. Let's put some control surfaces. Doing that might, might assist us. Uh, so... Flap. No? Okay, fine. Uh, aileron. Here we go. Elevons. Yeah, sure, fine. Whatever. thin ones I could actually I could add a tail in fact I probably need to add a tail plane to this right so these ones are going to be come on this is terrible I know what these ones are going to be though let's uh, go for a flap spoiler flap is inactive spoiler is inactive that's fine and you yeah you can have all of them it's it's absolutely fine we might actually lift the angle of attack of this wing just ever so slightly just to help us out a little bit because if we can lift it although I mean it's one degree so really I only need to lift it one degree I have to be careful about these things uh, you go away you go away you go away what have I done? I changed it to night and day in okay. I did I did not know that was something that happens. Right. Let's rotate this. There we go. Like that. Let's move it. Like that. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I would rather... No, let's let's have it stick out at the back. Oh, that cord has... That, that uh, aerofoil shape has changed massively. That could be worrying. Okay, well, let's... Uh, let's take a look. If I were to do this now. What has changed? Six degrees. Okay. Mark 1, point 0.5 still, static analysis of this, uh, it's, it has a pitching down moment, it has a severe pitching down moment, at any angle of a, right, so here's the problem, as we increase, it's, it is going to fight us the entire way, I would rather this was as stable as we could get. I really do not want a a sharp downward angle. I'd rather have a very shallow one. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm stuck with a pretty sharp one. It seems like I am stuck with a fairly sharp one. I mean, it does start leveling off at Mark 1. But that's okay. Mark sweep, yeah. Yeah, so I need to be I need to be aware of that area there. That's okay though. I'm going to stick with angle of attack because that is more useful to us at this point in time. Okay, so I'll I'll get rid of this. I will then duplicate these. Uh, so how do I duplicate these? Can I use Control C, Control V? No. Uh, clone, clone. No. How do I duplicate? If I click, no, 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 no. Oh, I've ruined this again. Oh no, wait, it's okay. There you go. And 
I guess I'll go for that again. It's an Elevon. Oh, that's huge. No. There you go. There's another set. Same concept. Uh, switch off the snap. There you go. I'm not all too happy about that gap. Is there anything that can fit in the middle? Actually, there is. Okay. Oh, that's that's gone all wrong. That that has gone wrong very quickly. I want to see if I can place if I can put this and this here. I'll lower this down to match with with that one just trying to reduce the drag as best as I can this is not easy there and then potentially try and stick this one in oh well that's that kind of works in fact that works quite easily and our I'll actually go ahead and do that and say, right, you go there and there. You are not rotated properly. There. You need to also be like that and then you need to be I think that is good enough for you I'll click that click that right click that and say right you are inactive on all of these having speed brakes there hmm it's it could help I don't I, I'm not against that I am not against that at all what I am concerned about is this. I will admit, I did not think that one through at all. Well done, me. Um, I cannot... Well, what I cannot do is... Put the wings further back. They need to be there. I'm fairly sure they need to be there. Yeah, they, they need to be there. There's nowhere else the wings can actually really go. Uh, what I can do, however, is I can break this, take the wing off, which looks really bad, move that, move that in there, move this back there, move that in there, and then try and put the wing back. That's low. There we go. Okay, that should not change much. And it does not. So therefore, what we can do is as we lift, as we put more of these, right, the only thing is I, I kind of want a little bit more mass up the front. Now, I do kind of want a little bit more in the way of mass at the front. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. But I should be able to sort something out with this. Okay, next up, let's lower the gear again. Is the gear backwards? I think the gear is backwards. Right. Let's, uh... Turn that around. Rotate. That is a forward gear.
There we go. Now we have a now we have a gear that that is forward. How did I get that wrong? Okay, great. I need some more gears. We'll let's find out what there is. Asymmetric landing gear. Oh, they're horrible. They are really, really horrible, they are. I would love to have that in... See, I, I really need them there, but... That isn't going to work. I mean... That is going to be scraping along the ground. That is a bad... Bad idea, bad design. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I'm really not sure about these gears. I I tend not to like these ones. Could we just go for a standard fixed landing gear? This is a this is a stupid idea. How are you going to get any speed out of a fixed landing gear? Come on. Uh, well, that one is... Wait a minute. Can that one be... No, that's fixed. That cannot be undone. What kind of gear is that? I see how it's supposed to work. I do see how it's how it's supposed to work, but no. Uh, I really, really want one like this, but it just is not going to happen. This is too... See, having that there is just too close. That is how they need to be. That is just too close to the ground for... Hang on. I say that the 737 is incredibly close to the ground with the gears. That still has more clearance than the 737, I think, between the engines and the gears. I might just want to try this. Might being the operative word. The only problem is the nose of this aircraft is this this gear is no good then. Let's let's try and move it and see what's what actually happens. For example, if we moved it there. It's uh, I'm not sure what to make of this. I'm not sure what to make of this at this point in time. However, however, I am going to save that at this point in time. Uh, I should probably name this. I'm going to name this. This is a proper aircraft, this is. And I'm going to name it the Armstrong 1. Armstrong 1. There we go. Let's save that. I'm going to do my analysis on this now. Anything changed? Yes, there is some change here. That's at Mark 1, though. Any change at point 0.2? Uh, yes, there is also some change there. Looks like it will stall at about 22, 23 degrees. We're going to have a stall. So as long as I do not lift the nose beyond that, we should be okay. Although if I raise the gear, will that move that along a little? No, it just increased the coefficient of lift slightly before the stall. We're okay, we're only going to take off around, what, uh, seven and a half degrees. Nose up should be our takeoff. Just wondering if that's good enough. I, I really do not know what to make of that. Okay. Let's go for this one. 
look for 0 0.3 let's say angle of attack six degrees for the climb it cannot see flaps probably because I haven't set the flaps that would help these are flaps flap active spoiler inactive it does not okay how do I do this it does not work with roll or your or pitch there we go hopefully that carried on to the opposite side it did okay there we go now we have flaps five degrees angle of attack with flaps and for landing four degrees to be able to fly level flight so anything below four degrees will be will be descending interesting interesting although i could slow that down a little bit anything above 12 degrees okay so we're probably looking to land 83 meters per second so that's uh what 160 knots looking at landing 160 knots i'd like to go a little bit a little bit slower with this with this vehicle i think we can do it i think it can be done and takeoff we're probably looking at well let's, let's see it says angle of attack eight degrees to give us lift which is yeah that's about right so that is about right if we're looking for 80 knots 100 knots there so about 200 miles per hour for takeoff five degrees and we'll be up no we can we can do this that is fine I know I know this is a lot of um I know this is a lot of aerodynamic analysis but it, it is kind of kind of important and we're probably looking at 0 0.25 landing and you can see there that is what our coefficient of lift is if we have that up that should theoretically drop there you go you saw that drop the maximum is at seven degrees whilst here we have the maximum still at seven degrees but we have a better coefficient of lift also a little bit more in the way of drag but that should be fine which makes sense with flaps deployed okay why are you so low down I'm confused. I'm very confused. Let's look for a much better flap setting as well. I want to go for 20 degrees of flaps. Do we have then? okay it's all right yeah that that is okay that is fairly okay okay before we continue on that so i've said okay a lot i know i know this this episode has gone on quite a while and we haven't actually done much but i think i can get rid of all of this rubbish I don't I wish the controls how do I switch off the controls for that use toolbar there we go that will do okay I think it still comes up we could give this a little bit of a test to end this episode it doesn't have any science or anything in it I'm confused as to why this f spoilers are already or oh, the flaps are already deployed but I could try this does this have a rudder okay oh I, I do not have a tailplane this is bad 
If I, if I miss the tailplane, it is not going to work. I will use an Elevon as a tailplane. Bad idea, but I will use one anyway. I need, what I really need for a tailplane is something that is symmetrical. That is what I, I really, really need. Uh, in fact, it might even be a wing that I could potentially use. Not those. No. No. Now we're talking. Maybe. There we go. You stay there. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Oh, different variants. Attack Mark 2. No, 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 no. Stay like that. I would probably have this tilted slightly down. Not that far down, that's for sure. Now that's a little bit too far down. There we go. That is probably what I would do. And then I would stick a very small Elevon onto it. Elevon. Hello. There you go. Like so. Let's move the Elevon into place. There. sort of perfect and then we will right click it and ensure that it does nothing but pitch perfect save go and tell me this is going to be okay we're all right Flaps up, mark point four. I think we're doing okay. I think we are doing okay. Okay. So that is my my aircraft. I'm still not I'm not one hundred percent happy about this, but I can always try it. Let's see what happens if I put it onto the runway. First of all, let me ensure that my controls are sorted. And to end this episode, let's throw this onto the runway. Okay, we are on the ground. We're rolling back. There's the brakes. That is very wobbly. Not, not something I'm happy about, I'll be honest. Although I'm going to revert this flight, let's give it a, let's give it a go. There goes both engines. Those, those, uh, those wheels are rubbish. Those wheels are genuinely rubbish. I thought so. I, I did think so, but I'm trying to figure out what, what the use is for that then. I think the aircraft will fly, provided I keep it stable. And it's just a matter of, uh, of keeping it stable now. I don't know what the point of that was either. Let's give it one more quick attempt. Now 
Nope, there they go again. The wing the wheels are just too the wheels are just too low. Just too low. Well, that is that. I mean now it looks like something out of the Simpsons, a Bart's rocket car. I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to see if I can get this in the air, but uh thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Kerbal Space Program. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgets, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. All I need to do is find out what wheels are going to work best on this, and I am pretty certain that this thing is going to fly. So, I'll figure that out off camera, and I'll see you guys next time.